Hi, and welcome to today's CCA tutorial. Today we're going to discuss Conference Barge, or more commonly known as CBarge. The CBarge feature uses a shared conference resource, which allows more than one person to barge into the call. So for example, if persons A and B are having a point-to-point -point conversation, CBarge enables user C to um, barge into the call, and the call itself is regenerated into a conference call. And the nice thing about CBarge is that it allows more than one person to barge into the call, and the maximum number is eight, typically the default. So if no conference bridge is available, or um, the maximum number of participants is reached, the system will reject the barge request and an error will display on the initiating phone. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, as you can see, I'm working with three IP phones, two SPA 525Gs and the 7970 along with my UC 540. Let's go ahead on the left-hand panel, select Configure, Telephony, Voice Features, and there you'll find Conference Barge. So once this is launched, you'll notice that you should not have any users down here uh, because there are a few re uh, prerequisites in order to enable CBarge. The first thing is creating the CBarge soft key template, and this should already be created there by default, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the second thing is creating a shared Octoline extension for the phone entries. So in order to do this, you're going to go ahead and go to Voice, which you can find also under Telephony. So what we need to do is we need to create a shared octoline. So I'm going to go ahead and go on under my 7970 and select that. And I need to make a shared extension, so then I'm going to, under button number 2, change this to shared and make an extension number, 303, it's not in use. And this is the actual extension a phone can barge into and you need to create that same line appearance on two or more phones. And notice that when it's shared, I need to come over here under dual line and change this to octoline. So a key thing to keep in mind here is that not all phones support the octolines, uh, particularly the spa phones. So my 525Gs would not support um, octoline. But we're still going to go ahead over here and under button number two make this a shared extension and make the extension 303. But notice that I do not have the option of changing this to an octoline. But go ahead and select apply. All right, so now that that's configured, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to conference barge. And you'll notice that my extension is listed here. And notice that as I come across here, you'll notice that C barge, I can go ahead and enable that. That's the first thing. And the second thing here is the privacy feature. And the privacy feature is great because when a phone receives an incoming call on a shared line, the user can make the call private by pressing the privacy feature button. And this toggles between on and off to allow the user to alter the privacy setting on the phone. This would be a similar setup. You would definitely want to enable the privacy for perhaps a supervisor, but uh, disable it for an employee. So if an employee is calling into, uh, barging into a uh, supervisor's call, then the employee cannot see all the information uh, displayed from the other person involved. The neat thing about the privacy button is that it's very similar to the personal speed dial. So you're not actually going in and configuring a specific button, but the privacy button is assigned to the next available button in line. So if the first couple buttons are in use, the privacy feature will go ahead and enable the next available button. Go ahead and select apply. All right, so now we've enabled CBarge, which will uh, allow my 7970 the uh, phone the ability to barge into the call. A thing to note here about the privacy button is that if there are no buttons available, there will be an error message that displays that you cannot enable privacy. So if, uh, if the phone has reached button capacity, then you definitely cannot enable privacy. So CBarge is a feature that kind of goes hand in hand with conferencing. So go ahead and select conference. And notice if a user tries to disable conferencing, um, a dialog box will pop up with a warning saying that CBarge or conference barge is enabled on one or more phones. And when multi-party conference configuration is removed, CBarge will, not, will also be removed, uh, essentially. So it's just a double check at the end to make sure that you do realize that it goes hand in hand. 
And the other thing is that you have to have ad hoc uh, available in order to for CBARGE to work. And a quick review from our conference tutorial, um, the ad hoc conference is a type of conference in which one party calls another and either party decides to add another party to the call. So this is where the CBARGE feature comes in, whereas the Meet Me is um, basically one in which the parties all dial a predetermined conference number. So make sure that ad hoc is enabled in your conference settings or CBARGE will not work properly. Go ahead and select Apply. The CBARGE is enabled. So this concludes our CBARGE tutorial, and we really hope you found this tutorial really useful. Thank you.